Um, first of all, um, they agreed that we need to make sure this is preserved. So any restoration to make sure that uh, none of this deteriorates, we're gonna undertake. Secondly, we've gotta more fully contextualize what's going on in this space. The story is not complete. This is an iconic hall. It was built of this size so all the University of Kentucky students could gather as community, all in one building. It was also built in memory of those who lost their lives in World War I. And you look on these walls and there are 3,500 names, roughly, of Kentuckians who made the ultimate sacrifice in defense of freedom. The group talked about this hall represents freedom, freedom from slavery, freedom uh, as a country, uh, in defense of freedom, but there's more to tell. And how do we more completely do that? Through art, through the events we hold here, through thoughtful speaker series that address these issues of freedom, inclusion, justice. There's the opportunity to provide the history of the mural. I've read uh, a lot about the artist, but we don't all know what she saw in the art as she composed it, and that's important to know. And so through electronics, a video, more complete history we can tell, touch screen technology, for instance, uh, we can make this more of a learning experience. So those are the things we want to do to more complete the story that this hall can represent.